<laughs> hey, <laughs> welcome, Thirsty Amigos. Uh, thanks for joining us. I have a special Amiga. My wife, Gina, is here with me. Uh, we are going to do a cocktail again. But we found these uh, ready-to-make cocktails. Um, you know where we found them? Some liquor store. Some liquor store. They got us for their point of sale at the front of the store and stuff. <laughs> right. What were they, like five bucks, something like that? Maybe like that, yeah. Yeah. Still, they weren't expensive. Yeah, still cheaper yeah. than a cost of a cocktail at a bar. So we're going to give it a try. They are made with um, uh, good brands of liquor. Uh, we're going to start with a um, dirty martini. This is, actually says dirty martini on it. Um, I'll, read, I'll show the video while we're here. It's made with Wheatley Vodka. Uh, this is 27.5% alcohol. It says, uh, with roots dating back to 1892, or Huben, we're going with Huben, introduces a new line of ready-to-go cocktails, mixing the best spirits and ingredients to deliver a simple, well-balanced cocktail with every sip. So, there you go. Looks pretty cool. Looks good. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, start with the uh, Dirty Martini. There we go. They have an old-fashioned made with 1792 bourbon whiskey um, right here. Um, I, I happen to hold, have an older bottle. This is an eight-year older bottle right here that we, like, have had one sip off. That's about it. Um, I had to dig it out and dust it off. I was like, hey, I have that bottle. But we'll try this one next. Um, it's an old-fashioned, and uh, we'll see. So what we're going to do first is taste it by itself. See how it is like if you're out and you had that and you pull it out and drink it uh how is it going to taste and then we're going to doctor it up a little bit with uh make it a real dirty martini we have a uh, blue cheese stuffed olives yeah to add to this so all right so let's start with um let's pour a little bit into your shaker cocktail you want to pour some in there sure crack that up i'm going to pour your guys we, we've, we've been properly chilling the martini glass and i will try not to break it good yeah i do like that much that much yeah we can always pour it back in there and then we'll touch it up see how that goes you want to shake you want to shake you got it you can do the honors okay and our thirsty amigos shaker that amiga gina got me <laughs> gotta pimp it. okay so we're just gonna Shake and not stir it on this one. We're going to strain it because it is a martini. <laughs> That's okay. We want to taste it first. Yeah. <laughs> we just want so, it. Yeah. Okay. So let's take. So this is a dirty martini. Mm -hmm. And what is this in here? Made with vodka, vermouth, and natural flavors. Mm, I like it. Let's see. As long as it's ice cold like that, I would like it. Yeah. I did, that does taste good. It is good. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I'm, I'm impressed that. for carrying around in my pocket dirty right. martini. I'd carry it around in my pocket. How, how many ounces? 200 mil? Or you think you can get two or three, two cocktails probably out of that? Yeah, I probably. Yeah. All right. So let's get, let's get dirtier. Let's get dirtier here. <laughs> pour this back in so we can use it um i'm gonna give these to you do you want to pour some brine in here no i don't or do you don't like the brine in there i do like the brine in there but i don't think it needs brine oh, okay fair enough okay let's just put the olives in here's your olive okay so let me in pour the glass, this in in the glass after or before Oh, I've been being a skewer, so we're just gonna have to free all of it. Mm -hmm. Pour about half and see what happens. So much cocktail. Before or after? Let's put them in first. Yeah. Two. I like two. One for you, you one for me. There you go. Your martini. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Uh, there we go. We got a bar ready. Thank you. All right, let's set this up again. Got this in the face. Nice and cold. It is nice and cold. 
I don't want to break anything or elbow you in the chin. I would not be happy. <laughs> right. Hey. Yeah, you could easily get two cocktails out of that one. Yeah. These are decent size uh, martini glasses, too. So. Wait a minute. Try Yeah, give it a try. Although, it's still good. Ooh, taste the olive in there right away. You can taste it in there. I mean, if you put some of the brine like you were wanting to do in there yeah. to give it more, a more flavor. Like, you could take a, if you're not comfortable pouring that out, you could take a straw, dip it in there, and hold the top, and then you could control how much you want it in there. Yeah. Um, but that tastes good. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's the best one I've ever had in my life, but it's good. Yeah. Not bad. It's not real. Not real strong because the it is only 27% alcohol. So Yeah. It's, it's not, good, though. Not big, but it just means you can drink more and not, not pass out. Not pass out. Yeah. You could have the two easily and feel pretty good. Not too bad. Okay. Get, nice. Success. It'd be nice and quick for dinner. Yeah. If you wanted a, a drink before your dinner, that'd be nice. Oh, yeah. You know? It'd be easy to make. Easy. Easy to doctor up if you wanted to. Right. But on its own, like you said, yeah. Yep. And I do know they sell, I, I think they sell bigger bottles, but I know they sell like a a 375 mil bottle that I found online. I think it's around $10. Mm -hmm. So for 300 mil, these are 200. Someone online said to do a hack. We buy two of these for five. We get oh. 400 mil. Yeah. Versus 300 mil for 10. So good, good you idea. You do that, but the, the 300 mil bottle is pretty cool looking, though, actually. So that's pretty neat. Okay. So we transition to sure. an old fashioned. Yes. We both like old fashions. This is made with 1792. Um, let me read it while we show the video. Uh, it's craft, crafted by with bourbon by 1792 with bourbon, whiskey, bitters. And artificial colors. So <laughs> we're gonna make that bad yeah, boy brown. <laughs> right. <laughs> Interesting. Golden. golden. Yeah, that is a nice gold. Golden color. Oh, uh, see, so it says it says the exact same thing that said on the back of that one is so it has its tagline. Uh one thing this is it's uh um bottled by the Sazerac company. Both of these are actually in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, okay. So yeah, so you know that's a pretty big uh distillery. That makes some famous uh, bourbons and stuff. So, okay, so let's try this one. First off, I came prepared. And I have a big ice cube. Big block? No, actually. This is oh. pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Don't drop it. I know. Let me see if I can show it off. It's yeah. A, it's a Stormtrooper helmet. I got a, some uh, big ice making uh, things that make it. A mold. A mold. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I didn't struggle for the word. <laughs> but it makes them into a, a Stormtrooper helmet, which is pretty sweet. So it is a big ice cube, if we want. And then you don't shake these. You build them in the, co in the glass, the cocktail in the glass on these. So we'll just pour a little bit over it we'll do about that much for right now swirl it around so this already has the bitters and i'm not sure about the cherry but i brought some cherries and uh we'll put some vermouth or cherry juice or cherry it's not vermouth. syrup yeah oh smells oh that oh that smells good yeah it's got a good smell to it it does so that's promising. That's a good start. Have a sip? Yeah, please. Ladies first. See what it tastes like. Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Wow. I, at times, I cannot be a fan of old fashions. Right. They're, like, made too strong for me at restaurants and bars. But I like that one. It's got a nice blend of all... It all does. the ingredients. Yeah. It, 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 that's a really good word for it. balance. It, yes. It, you can really taste the bourbon and then the, um, the, uh, 
the bitters are not overpowering. Sometimes you can get too much bitters, and that's all you taste is like the orange bitters and stuff. It doesn't say what kind they use, but I'm assuming orange bitters. That's usually what you use in the classic ones. So, okay. I'm that, impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah, that's really good on its own, actually. Right. So, I don't really. Let's just see what happens now with this because we don't really need it. But it's fun to yeah. make your drinks look nice, even when they're pre made. Yeah, yeah, you know, doctor them up, doctor them up, make them look nice. Let's see if I can get a little bit of put a couple in there like that. And you can make that as sweet as you want or not as sweet, right? Pour a little bit more of the pre made old fashioned. Be sipping on that the rest of the night, right? Got my spoon, Got the bar spoon. Which I can't, I'm not a bartender, so please, in the comments, <laughs> be nice, don't be brutal. Stir that Stormtrooper helmet up. Right. No, I did not use distilled ice, so it's not a clear ball of ice, so I just used our filtered water that we had, so. Okay, that's got a nice color to it now. It does. Okay. You want to give it a try? Yes. See what you think. That's good. Did it make it too one way or another or just still good i think i personally like it without the cherries okay personally and so for me right now that's really good that's that's how i would make mine right here mm -hmm. yeah just like that so i wouldn't add much to it yeah and uh wow so you know that's a good little pour right that'd probably give you three of those easily for yeah. the night that's really good or you know if you had people over you could probably make a nice drink for everyone yeah Wow, that's really good. I'm really impressed. Right? I, I would buy I that too. again. I Both would, of them. I would like that. I would like to have some of that. And like when I go out to dinner, I'm I never order old fashioned because they're too strong. Yeah. Yeah. Usually they're yeah really heavy. Right. Oh, and the I think I said the proof on this one it was it's a 35. percent So it's mm -hmm. a little bit stronger than the dirty martini. Yeah. On one, but yeah. Hey, success. Good we job. Did it, uh, we did it for them getting us at the register. I know, huh? yeah. <laughs> they were suckers, here you go, yeah. come buy this. But uh, but it's worth it. I would buy them again. So Yeah, we'll definitely. Keep this up in our home bar that we like. So oh, yeah, definitely. Have people come over and have some cocktails. So Right, if you're in easy. a hurry, yeah, this is for sure the way to go. Yeah, if you're going out for the night, we'll have a little cocktail like you were saying before you head out. Right. So. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Amiga. You're welcome. Yes. Cheers with these. Cheers. All right. Till next time. Salud.